Hey everybody, our next module is on circumference of circles and what is circumference? If you look at this, here's the definition of circumference. It's the distance you travel around the outside edge of a circle. Um, like if you were going to put an edging around a tree that you had planted in your yard or you wanted to put a walkway around a pool that you have in your um, yard. That is called the circumference. And there are two ways to find circumference. And you can either use circumference is equal to pi times diameter. Pi is that little symbol that looks like uh, two sticks with a little wavy line over it. That's called the pi symbol. Or you can do two times pi times the radius. And in order to know how to do that, first you have to know what the diameter is. Diameter of a circle goes all the way through the circle from one side to the other. And then the radius of the circle goes from the center of the circle to any point on the outside edge of the circle. So we're going to do two different things. First, I'm going to show you the exact value of the circumference of a circle, and that will involve leaving the pi symbol in the answer. And then we're going to do the approximate value because we're going to round pi off. Um, knowing that pi is the decimal that never ends and it never repeats, so we round it off to 3.14, okay? But that's why it's an approximate value is because we round it before we use it. So let's look at these two problems. I'm going to work these on the board. So first we're going to do an exact value and then an approximate value with 3.14. Here we go. Okay, so first the one that they give me is 8 feet and they give me the radius because the radius goes from the center to any point on the circle. So I want to use my formula that says circumference is equal to pi times, well, 2, let's use this one, 2 times pi times the radius. Since they gave me the radius, let's use that. So what do we do? We plug in the numbers that we know. Circumference is equal to 2, we know that, times pi, since we want the exact value, we leave the pi symbol in there, times the radius. The radius is 8, so plug in what you know, okay? Circumference is equal to 2 times 8. Now, multiplication is commutative. We talked about those properties in a previous module. So the commutative property says that no matter what I do, I can rearrange the numbers and I can multiply them together and I'm still going to get the same answer. So 2 times 8 would be 16 and then the pi symbol. So 16 pi and circumference, that would be feet. This is the exact answer that you would get. Now to do the approximate answer, you would take this and replace the pi symbol with 3.14 and then do the multiplication. So that would be 3.14 times 16. And we practiced in a previous module how to multiply fraction, um, multiply decimals together. So we start with our 6. 6 times 4 would be 24. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 2 makes 8. 6 times 3 makes 18. Remember to put your placeholder. And then 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. And then you would add, and that gives me 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. Carry the 1 up. 8 plus 1 is 9. Plus 1 more is 10. Carry that one up. And 3 plus 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. Okay? Once you're done doing that, remember what I said. You count your number of decimal places. In this, I have two decimal places in the first, none in the second, so all I need is two decimal places in my answer. So you start from the right and move to the left two spaces. So circumference, I'm going to move it up here, is 50.24, which would be 24 hundredths, and we measure that in feet, so it would be feet. Okay? Now, let's do one that has the diameter. It's the same process, just a different formula. Circumference is equal to pi times the diameter, okay? So we have circumference is equal to the diameter, which is 10, 
times the pi symbol. That is the exact answer, and it's centimeters. So there's exact. And then to find the approximate, what do you do? You replace the pi symbol with 3.14. So you have 3.14 times 10. Well, in a previous module, we learned that if you want to multiply by powers of 10, you can do the shortcut by counting how many spaces you have that have zeros. There's one. So since this is the whole number 10, I'm going to take my decimal and I'm going to move it one space to the right. So circumference for this one is 31 and 4 tenths centimeters, okay? Because the shortcut says move the decimal to the right one space because the whole number 10 has one zero. Okay, so we've worked those for circumference and now um, the next time I come back, we're going to be working on dividing decimals.